Well, hello there, my crafters. Thanks for coming by. A while ago, I put out a video on a seamless item replacement system for Adventure Mode 1.8. Now that 1.8 is officially among us, hopefully you guys have been enjoying playing with it and all the new features. Um, Adventure Mode has had quite a major change. Now we can no longer break <laughs> break any blocks at all. Can't break them. And we can't place any blocks. And the only way we can place or break them is if it has a uh, custom tag on it. So right now I've actually got some shears. Uh, this is default wool, can't do anything. But the shears can break wool. And uh, when you're given an item back, uh, like if I was to break actually this wool here, um, I think it gives me default. Yeah. And the problem is you can't, I can't replace it. Um, so in adventure mode, this could be an issue, but I came up with a system where you can actually summon a new object and then be able to place it on, give it some different MBT, and you could actually change it. So now we have some sea lantern uh, blocks, lime puzzle blocks. You can actually change it to any item you want. It doesn't have to be the same item. But uh, it did have a little bit of its downfall. Like if I set my spawn point here um, and then I kill myself... It'll take that entire stack, and there we go. I've only got two now because it summons a new object and kills all the old objects. So uh, items, I meant to say. Um, so it did have some flaws, but that whole system is completely obsolete thanks to this new entity data command. Entity data. It's it's been out for a while, but it's completely fixed the major issue with uh, adventure mode, and that is being able to get the block back and place it back down again. So I'm going to show you um, some tricks you can do now with this. Let me just clear out my inventory here. And uh, let's, let's see. So basically I'm going to go in adventure mode again. And uh, I can't break anything. i got these three blocks to sort of, sort of show you. I can't break anything in adventure mode, but I've got... Uh, these commands set up here. I've got, a, I've got a bush that can destroy a torch. And same thing, you break it and you can get the new item and it has MBT attached to it so I can place it on stone now. Break it, uh, place it back on stone. And uh, one of the cool things is with this now because we're only adding MBT, uh, I'm going to give myself a bunch of torches here, 64 torches. Um, here we go. I'm going to throw these torches on the ground. Well, actually, let's just let's get rid of them all at once. So I'm going to do this. Kill that uh, or kill myself. And where where is there they are. There's those torches. You can see now they all get that MBT data. That's it's no longer like the old system actually removing all of those uh, all those items at the same time. It's actually adding the MBT data to everything. So that's really, really cool. Really awesome. It's basically flawless, I, I think. I can't find a, a problem with it yet. But what can you do with this? There's some really cool stuff you can do with it. Let me just show you how it's how it's kind of working real quick. Uh, basically, you need to set a score for any item you got. So here we go. I'm going to the torch here. Uh, scoreboard objectives add and then you make up a name. I'm just calling it torch for my sake. It's really easy to remember. It can be anything you want and it's going to be a dummy scoreboard so uh, or objective. So any item you want to do it with, you've got to have a separate scoreboard for that so that you can detect it. And then over on the clock, it's eliminating an extra command. That The old system had three. This only has two. So basically here, we are going to set whatever an item... We're going to set an item score of torch, that objective torch, to 1. And the item has to be torch. Okay, the age tag is age tag is no longer necessary. We're just going to take any torch that I find in the world and throw the MBT data on it. And basically, after that, it's going to uh, set this entity data, set the score of torch 1. So we've already set those torches on the ground, the ones that are uh, just kind of floating above the ground. We've set them with a, with a torch score of 1. And then I'm going to just uh, change it to a can blaze on tag, on stone. So there you go. So you throw it on and uh, you get that item. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. So because you can change anything about uh, that, uh, that item, this is pretty cool. This is what you can do. This is a few I, uh, uh, ideas I came up with. Uh, so we have a gold block now. What we can do is we can actually change it to nine ingots. <laughs> so you can change that to uh, 
the gold block to actually the the ingots that make the gold block you could change it to another gold block that could be placed on anything or you can do something really crazy and take this axe I've got it can break acacia fence when I break it oh yeah we get a diamond sword pretty cool pretty cool uh, so the way that works is let's go and do a creative mode and uh, you can see here this is the gold here so I'm uh, I've got this scoreboard called gold setup. I'm going to uh, check for this this item here. It's got to be a gold block. I'm going to set the score of one on it. It's the same with uh, with the acacia fence. It's really simple this way. And in the description, you'll see my paste bin links. That's that's where you can check out all the all the uh, commands I use for these tutorials and stuff. So we're going to set if it's an acacia fence, we're going to set it to fence score of one. And then up top here. Uh, with the gold block, we're going to change it to gold ingots. So, and then we've got a count of nine. So um, that item, a stack of items, is actually an item because it, it's it's all grouped together. We're going to change the count to nine. So that's going to we can make it whatever we want, or get really crazy with that uh, with that fence and change it whatever the score is fence one here. Change it to a diamond sword. I've even seen uh, people change, like, throw it on a fast-moving clock and just, like, uh, somebody's throwing a piece of wool and it's changing colors as it's in the air because you're not actually summoning a new item. It's You're just changing that, that entity tag. So, yeah, really, really helpful for Adventure Mode. I actually switched uh, my map around to use that. It's uh, As far as I know, it's completely flawless. I absolutely love that command. But Entity Data Guides, links in the description. I really hope that helps you. I, it definitely... Definitely helped me, but enjoy your Minecrafting. We'll see you next time.